Hi, this is Carmen Dalman, director of the High Desert Screening, and today I came to visit Back to One Productions. And the owner is uh, Robert Elliott, which um, is the founder, right? I am. I'm uh, the founder and uh, CEO of, of Back to One Entertainment Productions. Yeah. Awesome. So tell us um, when this business started and what was your motivation to start it? How everything well, that's, that's kind of a, a, an interesting story. Um, as we were discussing earlier, I, I worked in a, as a prop guy in, in the film industry. And uh, one day, my prop master and I were discussing the uh, accessibility of, of eyeglasses for, for actors because you have to do a, a specific treatment to the lenses for uh, glasses that are on camera. And so uh, I decided to start a company doing that. Uh, very quickly learned it's kind of feast or famine. Uh, either the show has tons of glasses or no glasses at all. Um, and so I, had, uh, after about a year and a half, I did a, a kind of a transition in my, my career in the film industry. And uh, I had already accumulated quite a bit of stuff. And uh, I realized that New Mexico as a whole could use an additional resource um, as part of the infrastructure for um, for the art department and film production and TV production here in the state. And uh, so I got this brilliant idea that I was going to start a prop house. And uh, growing up in the industry or in the entertainment industry, um, my, my initial start was in theater, and as a kid, I used to love to go up into the prop department in, in the theaters and just kind of sit there and uh, imagine stories uh, about all the different props. How old you um, 10, 11. Um, and so, you know, I think... Uh, <laughs> Ginger, are you okay? Um, so... When I worked, found myself as, as a career, as a prop guy in film, it was kind of a full circle event. So anyway, um, I, I bought a piece of property down here in the South Valley of Albuquerque and, and had a bright idea to move in a bunch of semi-trailers. Uh, so I parked eight trailers in my backyard, essentially, uh, and had a bunch of big metal shipping containers, and we just started packing it full of stuff. And, uh, we ran it that way um, for, I think, three years, um, three or four years. The first year was just kind of packing everything in there and then trying to sort it out and make it something that people could actually use. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we could go in and we could shop. And it, it was less than ideal, um, but it slowly started to become a, a you know, a, a small resource um, in, in the area and, and for the art department. Uh, on productions and so we start building a little bit of a name and, and uh, after three four years um, we had kind of slowly steadily built our business um, it was not a get rich quick scheme at all um, but then in 2020 um, I was actually helping a friend with uh, one of the warehouses around the corner and there was a space available sign on this building and so in February, we, we moved everything from my property here. Uh, and it took us a full month to, to move what? everything back and forth. Well, Well, and, and at the time, we only had the offices in this main warehouse. We didn't have the other two. Um, so my, my inventory has grown exponentially since then. But uh, we set up, or we didn't set up, we got everything in here. And we painted the building. It was, it was a bit messy when we moved in. And, uh, Got it, got all the stuff in here, and um, and then COVID hit. And so we uh, we had made the investment to move here, and and uh, we were not able to um, really um, <laughs> his face. Uh, yeah, right. Um, you know, we weren't able to do anything um, for six months. And then when uh, New Mexico uh, started to open up, we were lucky enough to get the first production that started shooting as one of our clients. And it just the few shows that happened at the very end of 2020 were uh, 
astronauts were trying to help us creep through the end of the year. Productive. Yeah, barely, barely. And uh, it was a pretty heavy hit. Um, but, uh, you know, I was already on the hook for everything at that point. And so I thought, well, I'll give 2021 a shot. And um, from the beginning of the start of the business, it was always like, well, let's see where we're at in six months. You know, it might be a big yard sale in six months. And every six months I hit my minimum. You're like, okay, well, I can't give up yet. We're gonna make it a little at a time. And, uh, and the whole time I was also working in the industry as well. So I was working- Wait, you do other things, right? You work on the- I, I do. And so you do about 80, you know, 80 hours at work and then you come home and run your business. And uh, so um, it really pretty much has taken up between those two things my entire life for the past, you know, six, seven years. And uh, so 2021, we started pulling this stuff apart and trying to make sense of it. And uh, it's gone through many evolutions just in this space alone. Um, but we were able to expand in, uh, into the, that little tiny warehouse where the portfolio is and, and into the bigger warehouse where the Western, the Western yeah, stuff is. Yeah. Um, and the creepy room. And the creepy room. Well, we had the creepy room <laughs> to begin with. Um, but we, uh, so 2021 was still kind of half and half COVID. The first half was still pretty slow. Um, but then the last half really made up for it because the floodgates opened and, and we got really busy. Um, so then 2022, weirdly, uh, was in a way kind of our first year in business. In, in a very weird way, because it was the first year that we were in a brick and mortar, not running out of the backyard, and we didn't have COVID to speak of. You know, it wasn't shutting us down or, or anything like that. So, um, 2022 was a, was a good year and uh, gave us an opportunity to see what we were doing right, what we were doing wrong, what we can improve That's on. Fun and uh, kind of really solidify ourselves as a resource for New Mexico um, television and film production. And uh, so at the end of the year, at the end of 2022, I was, I was really excited. Um, and I still am. Uh, you know, we, we had a really good first quarter this year. Um, and so we're looking forward to 2023 being uh, a continuation. And uh, as we go along, I'm, I'm hoping that, that uh, we can continue to be a, a, a positive for the New Mexico film industry here. So you provide props to almost all the productions that are in New Mexico or also out of just New Mexico? You know, we, we've only done a, had a couple clients that were out of state. Uh, predominantly, our, our, our clientele, 98% of our clientele is, is in-state filming. Um, but we also, you know, if, if student, students are doing films or whatever, we've had, indie. In, in, indie. you know, super indie productions come in and we actually even had a production film here um, over a weekend. They came in and, or I opened up for them and they came in and, and used the facility to shoot. Uh, and that was super indie. Um, uh, but it, it's fun, you know, that, that that's really kind of uh, one of the cool aspects um, for me anyway um, and and you know I try and get kids to work here that want to go in the film direction um, and it's a good opportunity to kind of get your feet wet and uh, start to learn at least one aspect um, while we're not directly in the process of the production we're very film adjacent um, and I try and impart some of my own experience so that they get a little bit more than just a job kind of thing um, but it gives them an opportunity to start meeting people um, and uh, make connections that way and um, as a matter of fact one of the guys that worked with me uh, when we were in the trailers in the backyard uh, and then helped help us move everything over here and kind of worked that first um, that first little bit after he's now an assistant prop master um, so, so he's, uh, he's working on the prop department? Yes. Uh, and so, and... The union. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. And, uh, and on, on good productions, I mean, he's doing really, really well. And I'm super proud of him. He's, like, my, probably my biggest success story. And, uh, Seren Harvey, you're doing great. <laughs> um, so, um, 
So that's also another good positive or opportunity that, that this company uh, really looks forward to being able to provide in the future. I gotta say something though. He just uh, took me to a tour to this amazing, huge place. And I have to say that you can find anything here. Like you have um, any kind of props, like um, skeletons, Bibles, photos of celebrities, antiques, right? You, you're based more like in the antique. We, um, we do. We, we try and veer away from the contemporary inventory. Um, we, to stock contemporary furniture doesn't really make sense when you can go to American Home Furnishings and buy it yeah. or any number of, of places. Um, so we really kind of try and specialize in stuff that you that's A, either really hard to find or B, you're just not going to find you know, at your local, typical local store or Walmart or, you know, yeah. any of those places. Um, well, I don't know if I can mention any yeah, businesses. Well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so we, we try and specialize in, in uh, a little bit more avant-garde stuff. Uh, we certainly have things that are, are needed a lot um, in, in some ways, like Stanchions in the I'm gonna take some. a couple pictures and I'm gonna make I'm gonna record a couple of your stuff because he has from anything from police uniforms to um, um, hospital equipment, uh, printers, uh, even washing machines like they're old. They, they are old. Typewriters. Uh, I, I mean, like you have this place is amazing. Like like if you are uh, thinking about producing even a short film. And it's based in the, I don't know, 80s, 90s, or um, or is something creepy in that room, something scary. This is your place, um, and it's room friendly. You have gloves. You have everything. Well, you know, you have everything. It it seems like that, but um, frankly, we don't, and it's it's virtually impossible for one. Um, facility to to have everything I mean, it's just you know there's so much of everything uh, so in new mexico i think the more vendors that we have that, that pick their specialties that pick their niches um the yeah, better like we're... Like that, and even the old telephones right the you know <laughs> uh, yeah. the the more of us that there are the bigger and better the infrastructure is going to be for new mexico film overall and the more business we're going it's going to garner from from productions coming from out of state um, and so really the community the film community out here uh, needs all of us and uh, you know, we, we all have kind of hammered out, at least the few of us that have really been after this for quite a few years, have hammered out our kind of little, our own specialties, if you will. Um, so the, the decorators and the, the prop masters are, have, you know, they know to go to this place for that and this, you know, another place for well, this. Let me ask you something. What is the weirdest thing that someone has request or asked you and you didn't have it? Oh, well, gosh, um, quite a few things, you know, there's, um, it, well, and frankly, sometimes they ask us and we're like, we're not sure. And then, you know, a week later, we'll, we'll find it. Um, oh, God, you know, my problem is, is that I usually go out and get it. If I get a phone call, I'm like, somebody's going to want that again someday, so I'll go get it. Um, you know, our, our taxidermy, we were very light on for a while, and then um, I really kind of tried to bolster that and, and make it so that um, we do, uh, I mean, we even have a leg lamp, you know, so I'm, I'm trying to get as much as I can. Um, but we, we uh, the other day, we got asked if we had um, oil cloth. Like uh, that, you find a lot uh, in Mexico that they use that has the various prints and stuff on it, um, and it comes in bolts. And uh, I, it wasn't even something that occurred to me. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, now we have to look at at that being something that you know that we can uh, try and accommodate for our clients. You so know, you so. have to go to Mexico. Um, well, you know, yeah, I actually, uh, I, I haven't planned the trip yet, but we, we, we need to go down there and, and uh, see, see what we can find. 
Um, you know, of course, I did my, my computer search and it was tough, but um, <clears throat> you always get, it's better to go to a source to get, you know, kind of a higher quality or a more authentic kind of uh, product. Um, so, but, you know, th there have been, over the years, there have been um, tons of odds and ends, you know. Um, you have snakes, you have this, or you have that, and uh, it, 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 you're just kind of like, hmm, okay, and, yeah, and you figure that, that. right, <laughs> you know, and, uh, um, you know, we, we're lacking in prison beds right now, so, um, and that's one of the things that I'm trying to solve. Um, I've gotten a couple phone calls, we have prison cots, and, uh, and they take up a lot of space, so it's a lot of real estate to store. Yeah, I know, this place is huge. And, uh, it's cool that you see this place teach you. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a game of like yeah. half inches here and there. You gotta scoop everything yeah. to try and fit it. Um, but we, you know, we really do work hard to listen to the, the random requests and uh, see what we can, you know, what we can do about it. Uh, I had one client come in Monday, let's say Tuesday, yes, maybe it was last Friday, not, anyway, they run together, um, but he had been here before and he thought I had marionettes, um, but I have ventriloquist dolls, so he was like, well, I thought they were marionettes, so we had to have this discussion about it. The difference between right, the what they actually yeah. were, and, and I was like, well, they might work, put some strings on them, let's see what, and, it, and it, it just didn't work out for their needs. Um, so sometimes you get real close. Um, well, and, you kind of have it all, like you said, it's, it, right. it's, it's a lot. But we do, we do try and keep tabs on who has what uh, as much as possible so that we can refer out. Uh, there's another prop house that's 90 seconds away from here. And they're a bit different. We're predominantly, uh, we predominantly cater to set decoration, uh, whereas as those guys are uh, predominantly like hand props for actors and that sort of oh. thing. Um, More specific. The minutia, yeah. you know, yeah. the small stuff. Um, and they handle like tactical stuff and guns, and that's just not really our forte. So when people call us, we certainly refer to them. Um, and if there's another set deck house that I, I think might have something that we don't have, uh, we absolutely send them that way. Because ultimately, uh, if we're going to be the, the resource for New Mexico film production in the state that we, we want to be uh, and that we're trying to be, um, it's, of course, we love to have the item, um, but it, it's, it's also part of the deal to help the client get the item no matter where it comes from. Absolutely, and I, I'll go, you know, if I can find it and, you know, we need to buy it to, to provide it for them, well, we've done that in the past. Um, so that's how you build also your inventory and give my rental again. Correct. Not and, and, available. Right, and it, sometimes it doesn't work out because <laughs> you, you go and you get the item and then you're like, okay, we got it and it's ready for you and they're like, we're not going to use it anymore. Oh, okay. So then you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> but then you end up with the item, like you said. And, yeah. and uh, so have it there. we do have it there and, and we're able to, to uh, help another client down the road with it. And, uh, and it usually pays for itself. There have been a few times when I've been like, well, that was a bummer and it was just a total loss. But, uh, you know, and we, we're, we're trying to, to fit that niche as much, much as possible. And, and, uh, and I've discovered that our clients kind of come here, there's some standards that they come here for, but then they also do come here for, for like a lot of the, the accent pieces that, um, that are really kind of the icing on the cake, if you will, that pop off their set. And, uh, you know, we, we have steady hours here, we're open five days a week. Uh, we have, you know, people here to help. Uh, our clients, you know, shop or kind of guide them through our inventory. And, you know, we try and keep it uh, to be, uh, we want it to be a, a, a fun place to come and a pleasant place to. Uh, it is definitely an interesting place to go. Ah, well, thank you <laughs> very much.
Thank you very much. <laughs> Even if you're not making any movies. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I have yeah. done a couple tours. Um, I've had some friends who had young kids and, and uh, they're like, can I bring my kids by? And so yeah, we've done some tours and yeah. you just watch the, that's always the funnest part is watching kids' eyes just open up. Yeah. And, and uh, my only hope is that one of them someday grows up and, and uh, remembers this as, as something that was very cool for them. And uh, so, you know, we've definitely taken people through just for pure entertainment um, kind of thing. So it, it's a lot of fun, you know, it, it keeps working in a cubicle, I'll tell you that much. And, uh, you know, I've learned a lot over the course of building the business. Um, you know, I mentioned earlier that 2022 was in a weird way our first year, but uh, I started the process of this business in late 2015 for the idea of it. And, uh, you started building it already since the last year. It's eight years ago now. So, I mean, I think we started putting together our first very bad website uh, in 2016. And, uh, and we were still definitely in the trailers and, and uh, you know, just trying to shuck it out. And uh, so it, it's been a journey, um, you know, getting home after 16 hours. And then well, you survived when it was the most oh, yeah, absolutely. Of, and I think you are growing. I think you're doing a great job job and I'm so glad that you're here for us because there's a lot of things happening in New Mexico. Um, this happens to be convenient and also funny and hope so. Uh, and I wish you success on Thank this you very much. and I seriously once again not to bother you but even if you're not making a movie come visit this place it's super interesting you learn a lot. Well, I appreciate the time. Thank you very much oh, for giving us the you. opportunity. And um, you want to tell uh, uh, people that are watching us where they're located? Um, your oh, address gotcha. And so our, our main uh, facility is at 5330 Williams. Uh, William, without an S. Uh, we're uh, just a little bit south, uh, west of Broadway in the South Valley, south of Rio Bravo. Um, so kind of down in the... Uh, New Mexico Film Warehouse District, if you will. Yeah, I was trying to find you, and I actually came here, but then it's, it says uh, Sweet B, and on the front it says Sweet A, so I was like, probably Sweet B is over there. So I went over there for a minute, and I was like, no, but I see a bunch of trailers from the movie industry that they park over there, and I'm like, no, it has to be there. Yeah, we've, we've been having a fight with Google for a while, so we're sweet A, B, and C, yeah. and uh, so I've been trying to remedy that with Google for a while. We have a, a website or you we are do. on Facebook, but you are, are you We have do have a website, um, and we actually just switched over our software in the fall, um, so we're reloading stuff onto the website. So yeah. we, We've got probably 1% of our inventory on the website currently, but it's uh, b21crops.com. Um, and so you can go there and take a look. And eventually, once everything's up there, you'll be able to build set lists and, and um, pull requests. And, and currently, you can um, fill out a, an account application and set up a, an account with us fairly easy on the website. Um, and uh, so this, this new software program that we're working with uh, is, is great. Uh, the guy who runs the software program has become a, a very good friend. And uh, it's, it's really kind of helping kick us, kick our game up quite a bit. So hopefully this time next year, we'll, we'll, have, a, we'll have a good chunk on the website. And uh, if you're from here shooting a, a picture in a, you know, some other, location um, we, we hope to be a resource you know for, for those folks as well and for people who've never been here we'll hopefully be able to and um, i love the path to one when uh, you're on set and you're like path to one right <laughs> yeah so we just you know we want people to uh to, to be able to use us and and uh, and we want to be able to help yeah. so that's the biggest thing so. well thank you so much absolutely Robert. i appreciate and, it um, See you guys later and come visit us. <laughs> Bye. Bye. -bye.